Hey, this is Doc T here with my second live Facebook uh, feed from just today. And I'm here with some really cool, hello. <laughs> and I wanted to uh, ask uh, Melissa to ask some uh, questions of this new. Uh, <clears throat> this is Summer over here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and Melissa, she just is watching her horse getting done here the, uh, with horsemanship dentistry. And she had a couple of ideas or thoughts about what she thinks of the other style of dentistry versus this style. So, Melissa, go ahead and ask some questions and see if we can get some. So, you're a new client for us. I However, am. she's a horse that we've seen several times. What were some of your fears in hiring us for dentistry? I, um, I had witnessed a dentist coming out to the barn and had the horse's mouth stretched wide open and connected to the back of the wall and the horse was not having a wonderful time and kicking and moving all around and it seemed almost painful. Um, so I had told the previous owner that um, I was just gonna not do her teeth because I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna put her through that. And she's like, no, 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 no. That's not what, that's not, the dentist that she uses is not, doesn't use those barbaric types of, of equipment. And I was so relieved, but this is even better than I thought it was going to So be. better than watching the video that she sent you. Yes, she live yes. Is, she had to okay. convince me. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I thought there's no way that somebody could get in a horse's mouth without having some sort of restraints or something. So she did send me a video of you do floating Oso's teeth, um, but this, this is nothing like what I would have thought had to happen um, to really perform a, a floating on a horse. But she's doing great, and she doesn't even care. <laughs> Shocking. She's a good girl. Huh? Well, <clears throat> thanks. Um, See, so now, now we're together. <laughs> you all fade out with the sunlight. But what do you think? She thinks she's doing okay with this? Mm -hmm. I think she's doing She looks pretty happy, right? Uh -huh. She seems pretty content. Now, the most important thing to understand is, yeah, we see that the horse is happy and content, and this seems to be better than uh, everything else that we've seen with the other styles of dentistry. Uh, we're not saying that we do a better job. We're not saying we do a worse job. We use our hands to uh, power the blade, which is a uh, sharp carbide stainless uh, steel against enamel. And we don't feel like you need to have any more power, and you don't uh, using the techniques that we use, we don't need to have this precision that's perceived with an electronic uh, device. Uh, we find that the horse is uh, calm, relaxed, and we're able to place the blade exactly where we want it and get the job done, including the very back teeth, the very last edges of the back teeth. So it, while it's debated by so many people, what's a better way of floating teeth? Um, and I'm just going to turn around here and just keep looking at our... There we are. Um, the point is, we can get every part of the mouth, every tooth that's in there. And what's most important is we're here to treat uh, the client and her needs through her horse. And a lot of people think that we're here to treat the horse, and that's not necessarily true. We're here to do an integrity uh, and a competent job and uh, provide trust uh, with the owner. And this owner here, uh, Summer, is willing to voice her opinion that this seems to be a better way for her horse uh, and we believe so too and that's why we go all over the country from here to Seattle to Vermont and back and we're so grateful Summer for you taking us a moment to say um, your thoughts and now we don't have any <laughs> vision at all there we go <laughs> all right thanks everybody bye bye